President Trump's executive order has already affected uh, some refugees here in Boise. KBOI2's Amika Osumi is live to tell us how it's impacting them. I'm here in front of the International Rescue Committee here in Boise. Now, the IRC and other organizations help refugees get settled here in Idaho. But organizations say after Trump's executive order was signed this weekend, some families who expected to be reunited with family members this week are now left heartbroken. From October of 2015 to September of 2016, Idaho has resettled over 1,000 refugees from 18 different countries. President Trump's executive order suspends the U.S. refugee program for 120 days. For families who are trying to find protection somewhere in the world, who are living in extremely vulnerable situations around the world, uh, who now no longer have the ability uh, at, at least for the next four months, to find protection in the U.S. It's devastating. And many local refugee families are affected by the order. There's a lot of anxiety in the refugee community um, about what this means. Um, some of it being direct and immediate impact. We have family members who are not coming. Um, we have at least three families that we've identified who had immediate family members who were due to come very soon to this week um, who now cannot. Donnelly Zool says she was speaking to one refugee family about the change when their nine-year-old asked her a question. Um, and he asked me, oh, are they going to deport us to Africa tomorrow? And I think that gives a sense of the immediacy of the fear that folks have um, and the uncertainty about their ongoing status. The IRC received several welcome cards to refugees over the weekend. Members say they've seen an outpouring of support from the community. The IRC says this executive order doesn't have an immediate impact on families already settled here in Idaho. The executive order blocks indefinitely blocks refugees from Syria. Boise has become the new home for almost 200 Syrians in the past two, two years. The order also puts a cap on the amount of refugees allowed into the U.S. and the IRC estimates that that will cut the number of refugees sent here to Idaho by more than half. Live in Boise, Amiko Sumi, KBOY 2 News. And we'll have much more on this hot button issue coming up, including a look at those affected by the ban and why some of the largest Muslim countries were not included.